All right, we're casting now. We're live. My mom don't eat no meat, and that makes she a vegetarian. How would you say that? You wouldn't say my mom don't eat no meat. You would say what? Go ahead. My mom doesn't eat eat any meat. My mom. And that makes her a vegetarian. Doesn't. Right? Doesn't. Yeah. Eat any meat, right? Yeah. What am I doing first? So we're going to do, we're reading. Then we're going to edit. That's what we're doing. And then when we're done editing, we'll rewrite. So right now we're reading and editing. My mom doesn't eat any. Uh-oh. Is meat correct? We have, look, we have the word meat, as in I'm going to meet you at the basketball court, and then meat, as in I'm going to spark up the grill and cook some meat. Which one do we need? Yes, that's mucus. M-E-A-T. That is correct. M-E-A-T. That's right. So, And that's what we call a homophone. They're spelled differently, okay. but they sound the same. Spelled differently, but they sound the same. What do we need before the conjunction? My mom doesn't eat any meat, and that makes she a vegetarian. Boom. What do we need before that conjunction? Well, okay, so she is going to be her? Is that what you're saying? All right, I'll take that. But what before the conjunction? Remember, and is your conjunction. What do we need before that? I see hands. Oh, right here. Yes. Yes. Digging deep. She was digging deep for that one. I like it. Uh, yeah, of course, a comma, right? So now let's take a look. My mom doesn't eat any meat, and that makes her a vegetarian. Doesn't that sound better? All right, so obviously, I'm not going to rewrite these out uh, in the screencast for the sake of time, but you would then now do the writing phase of it where now you're you're executing your edit edits, right? So doesn't is what I'm going to write instead of don't, right? Doesn't eat any meat and as you're doing this you're looking for anything you might have missed comma and that makes her a vegetarian right i'll just leave it right there all right let's look at the next one sometimes mom eat rice and beans or spaghetti with tomato sauce all right so a lot of it kind of ran on there it was like too much i think we need some Commas to break it up. Um, I think I think sometimes we need to join this together, don't we? Let's do that. Sometimes. Sometimes, Mom, should it be eat rice? What should that be? Eats rice. Sometime, sometimes, Mom, eats rice and beans. Okay, beans. Here it is. That's not correct, is it? So, again, it's E-E-N-S. What do we need? We need a, homo a correct homophone pair. Boom, over here. Uh, it's going to be, spell it right, B-E-A-N-S. -E yes, we need B-E-A-N-S. Sometimes mom eats rice and beans. What do we need before that conjunction or? Here's the conjunction right there. What do we need before that? Come on, guys. Get in the rhythm here. What do we need before that? Jack fee. Comma. We certainly do. We need a comma there. Sometimes mom eats rice and beans, comma, or spaghetti with tomato sauce. Yes, Jack fee. In tomato, there's not supposed to be an E at the end. Mm, no, I think we're good with the E, bud. Yeah, no, it is. Let's get rid of that. E O M A T O. Hmm, oh no. Hand me my phone. It's right behind. All right, so we have sometimes mom eats rice and beans, comma, or spaghetti with. Tomato sauce. Yes, that is correct. All right, we're looking good. Jack Fee finding the big one. All right, so how many corrections do we have in the first one? We have one, two, three, four, five. 
How many corrections do we have in the second one? We have one, two, three, four, five. All right? So, you know, come test time, what? Things are spelled wrong. We have it right. We fixed it. B E A N S. Yeah, so we're good. So, five and five, okay? All right, let's keep going. Mom eats lots of veggies. She doesn't get bored because they are so tasty. So Jack Fee, how do we make this a compound sentence and also use the word the conjunction but, right? But, so, nor, and. Those are all conjunctions, right? But, so, nor, or, and, right? What do we put before conjunctions? We did it in both these, right? We, we put what before the conjunction? We put a comma. So we're going to need to add a comma here. So how do I do it? Come on, guys. How do I do it? Who's, who's going to be my big volunteer? Go up right to the board and get her done. Come on. Someone can do this. Someone hasn't gone up yet. Maddie, go ahead. Show me how it's done. What are we getting rid of? How are we doing this? Go. We have to get rid of this, don't we? Yeah. All right, so let's, what do we replace that with? Comma. A comma. And then what do we need after the comma? And. No, look. We need this. All right. Yeah. So let's add that. And now do we need to capitalize the S and she anymore? Because yeah. it's not technically at the beginning of a sentence, so we'll arrow that down. Let's try it. Mom eats lots of veggies, comma. But she doesn't get bored because they are so tasty. Good? Good. All right. P-O-E. We're going to use that. Process of elimination. Po. The vegetable who mom and I like best is broccoli. Does that one work? The vegetable who? Do you refer to vegetables like as a who? No. The vegetables which mom and I like best is broccoli. Maybe check mark that. How about the vegetables that mom and I like best is broccoli. Which one? I think that way out. You guys shaking your head. It's going to be that. So what do we do with process of elimination? We eliminated silly answers. We plugged them in. We also did this method, the plug in method. I always do that commercial plug it in, plug it in. All right. So there's your DLR. In a nutshell, for week one, day four, Tadero, out.